Alrighty guys, let's take off. It's moving, man. Hey, what is up guys? It's another day at Evoke Performance and I am at XS Motors Works Garage and guys, today we're gonna be riding my go-kart. And I also have Brian in the background. He has something that we need to look at guys. It's, a, it's something we need to see immediately. Brian, can you show us what you're doing? Oh, well, Rashad, you, you told me that I had to come prepare. This is a challenge yeah, that we've- Yeah, I told like, you yeah. that. I, I told I, you that. So, what you... so I've been working on the challenge. All right, let's see what you got. I'm calling this my mini split decision. Okay. So, uh, you know, I've got a whole IRS suspension in the Holy front. Holy crap, guys. What on earth? This looks nothing like uh, we saw it before, Brian. And uh, so, yeah, I've got full pedals, and, you know, hydraulic clutch, hydraulic brake, all set what? up, ready to go. And I'll be working on the rear end now Okay. with a, with a true differential setup. All you know? right. Because I'm, I'm running a very wide back end, so I can't be running a live axle. That's going to tear my tires up. Plus, huh. I, you know, we really haven't agreed on what kind of uh, racing we're doing. Um, I say let's do let's do all let's do off road on road road course. Let's... I'm, I'm game. I'm game. Okay, I'm ready. Full send. Full send. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So clearly, I need to get to work. As you can see, Brian's build has taken another turn, and it's uh, graduated from cart status to insane status. So this is my answer right here. We're gonna test today at 48 volts, and then I'm going to crank it up to 72 volts in this episode. Let's get to work. But before I do that, I need to show you guys. I had to do to make this thing actually rideable. Lead acid battery because it will not steer because all the weight is on the back. And then I, I have a throttle set up now. It is a vice grip <laughs> until we're ready. But yeah, guys, everything is working. Brian, could you hit that throttle for me, please? Sure. <laughs> As you can see, we have insane torque. And that's only one battery. So let's get to riding right now. Take off and see what we can do. Yeah, you can. Let me test the batteries, make sure we're not about to blow Dude, up. If that, but if that thing fell, wouldn't you be screwed? Nah. It's zip tied on there, man. It's ratchet strapped on there. Guys, as you can see. Oh my God. Okay, never mind. It's the beginning <laughs> of something very powerful. I don't know if Brian caught that, but I, we almost rolled over, baby. That's how we live at Invoke Performance. You almost dying aside, this thing is super badass. All right, so we actually. I think, I think you need to make that. You Wait, it's rubbing rubbing on the, the, chain, the chain is rubbing on this We're thing, saying, I think. It was getting close. Was it on the battery? It was getting right, really guys, we're close. doing triage on the, well, uh, well, maybe, maybe on the Franken bike. I think you need to put an actual ratchet strap on it, not yeah. just a pole yeah. strap. Let's yeah. ratchet it Well, down. I think you need to put like a little trough, weld a quick trough to drop the battery in. So what all you trough? have to, yeah. Okay. Weld a trough. All right, so guys, let's go over the modifications. Here is a battery box. And as you can see, there are more batteries here. Now 72 volts. And it's a little bit more safe versus the uh, straps. Uh, Brian helped me weld a uh, bracket on the back. And there is the bracket from the Bud's electric motorcycle build. And Brian also helped me from killing myself. Strapping those down, we got zip ties so the controller is no longer moving. He's helping me wire it up now. And then we're gonna do the full 72 volt send. We're doing some final brake adjustments because braking is going to be absolutely necessary when I finally activate this. So let's do a walk around. 12 volt balance beam battery in the front. Walking around back. Brian put his touches on the safety. As you can see, the wiring looks way much cleaner than I did. And, the okay. tray. and we got the battery tray, the battery tray. Brian no welded that in. No more straps, guys. All right, Anthony. Yes, yeah, see if the brakes work. We're testing. Oh, they're hitting the steering. Are they hitting the steering? But they, they locking up pretty they good. The okay. And now I have a full throw for the brake arm, thanks to Brian. Oh, we got a, this is actually a name brand gas pedal, too. You guys see that gas pedal? What is that called, Brian? It is the Vice Grip gas pedal from Chew Harbor. Chew Harbor, guys. Chew Harbor gas pedal. All right, Brian, let's do a spin up for the guys. Are you ready to hit the gas pedal? Power's on, it's activated. Spin up. 
Holy crap. Guys, <laughs> that's a lot of RPM. I don't know if you could tell. This thing was literally screaming. So we're gonna go ahead and take it outside. Whoa. That thing is. <laughs> Did you see the front wheel when he turned? Rashad <laughs> doesn't care about anything except for going fast. Yeah. What is he oh my god, he's doing a burnout in that guy's lawn. That guy's yard. Oh, that's not gonna end well. I saw grass get kicked up. Oh my god, it's moving pretty fast. Dude, that wheel on the back. Whoa. <laughs> That was going pretty fast. Yeah, it got some tire shake. That thing looks scary. Whoa. Oh, he's in the guy's yard again. Oh, he's ripping the guy's yard up. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Thing's moving, man. Whoa. Oh, no. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> I think you need to get out of the middle of the road. Are they locked up? I don't know. We're good. No, I, I don't know, but all of a sudden they started to fight like really good. Oh, you got you kicked the glaze off the freaking rotor, I guess. They fit hard. All the gla all the glaze is gone. How do the batteries feel? They look good. They feel cool. Oh, that can break is hot. <laughs> So what I actually thought was the brakes in that last shot, it was not the brakes, guys. It was this controller actually trying to tell me, hey, man, stop, because your motor mount has actually flexed during the riding footage and is now creating a direct short from the motor positive to the battery negative. So I pulled into the shop and this happened. So as you guys can see, I plowed completely through Brian's shop, nearly damaged the frame in a trail of fire. I completely roasted the motor. Actually, let's take a look at the motor, guys, because this is insane. So here she is. Let's take a closer look at the carnage. As you can see, it's completely charred on the back where the brushes are, on the sides and inside. And as you can see, we have copper hanging all out of the motor. So all of that was liquefied instantly as you can see those sparks were actually balls of molten copper flying throughout the shop which was insane but do not worry guys i was planning on swapping the motor anyway so guess what gen 2 of the hypercart is going to be twice as powerful go twice as fast and guys i promise you do not want to miss that one so in my next video i'm going to go over the full details of that powertrain so if you enjoy this content, please don't forget to like and subscribe and check out those Amazon links that I have down in the description. It's some of the products that I actually use to make these products. And it's actually the motor kit link in case you want to do that build yourself. It all goes back to helping the channel to continue to make these insane builds. So guys, I'll see you in the next video. Later. Yeah.